Welcome to my world, the world of Ask Akinola and you. The world of wealth, knowledge acquisition, knowledge is power. I shall take you today on antibiotic. It's like a debate, but it's not. Antibiotic has really helped life. It has helped increase our longevity. So the title of today's discussion or exposition is Antibiotic Increase Longevity. Antibiotic Increase Longevity. I am not uh, in the process of doing something that is uh, contrary to what I have always been doing, but uh, it is just to make people understand that the use of antibiotic really extended life. Some put it at average of uh, 23 years plus. Uh, in the past, before the uh, reign of antibiotics, uh, life expectancy has been in the region of 30, 35 years. When we go along, as I show the slide, we do a comparative analysis. Then when you look at the introduction of uh, antibiotics, the penicillins, the uh, streptomycins, and stuffs like that, they call it the uh, magic bullet, the penicillin, and the, the golden era, where life became uh, more uh, uh, better, I mean, better and improved in terms of uh, longevity, you will want to believe that, yes, the antibiotics really has greatly helped and mankind has moved forward. But by the time you watch through this video, you will come to realize that uh, uh, in a circle, just like the background uh, video is showing, it's a, a kind of circle. You never know. There is no progress because you keep moving and you don't know where you are ending. It is from beginning to beginning and never beginning to the end. So right now, man itself uh, is now creating antibiotic, antimicrobial resistance to all these antibiotics and therefore we are returning gradually back to the beginning when life was short or probably when life expectancy was short the longevity then was at that range so it is only by patiently watching this uh my video through that you can understand so let us together do the research the content of this video is more on a research work that we can do together. Get both, let us both get involved and do this research. And you will see that I'm not a prophet of doom, but a medical laboratory scientist. Subscribe. Welcome to the slide section where we shall both uh, be engaged. The definition. The first magic bullet against syphilis, Savasan Sixosis was deployed in 1910 by Paul Ehrlich, a Nobel Prize winner. And he did a great work by doing the uh, effort of selective toxicity with all antibiotics. This, in this wise, is antimicrobial. Penicillin was discovered in 1928, and you call, he called it uh, Magic Bullet II. This was in the golden era of antibiotic by Alexandra Fleming. And you can imagine what penicillin did. Then, within that same period, the First World War that resulted in the death of 20 million, look at that figure, 20 million, and the first 20th century influenza pandemic that killed 50 million. That figure is very uh, instructive. 50 million people started in 1980, the year around which anti -production, antibiotic production started. Definition 2, we have the father of antibiotic, who defined antibiotics as a compound made by a microbe to destroy other microbes. It selectively destroys other microbes. It doesn't also destroy the cell of the human body. So that selective toxicity that Paul Ehrlich is interested in uh, is uh, old, uh, old true. 
Now he received he also received the Nobel Prize in nineteen fifty two for ingenious systemic and successful study of soil microbes. It was these soil microbes that helped in the discovery of the Atinomyces, uh the uh, anti Atino bacteria that is used to produce seventy percent of the world antibiotics. So Workman did so much, so many work. He did so much work, very great work on antibiotics, and that's why majority of the antibiotics we have today are from the Atino bacteria. The lifespan and life expectancy we should put it into consideration within that period of antibiotic. Uh, as exposition antibiotic exponential growth life expectancy however was less than 30 years for people in the early century because many died from bacterial infection wounds and other diseases as a result of the state of general sanitation public health and hygiene at that time before the introduction of antibiotics vaccines and sanitations of the environment and individual hygiene so life expectancy was short now Let's look at the timeline of antibiotics and the live expectancy improvement. Live timeline, you can see 1910, that was the period of the first uh, antimicrobial agent called Savasan. And then in the 1950s, uh, the golden era of antibiotics, when you look at it, that is the one uh, in with that color, the orange color, is very instructive. That was the period of Penicillin production and also the period the methicillin resistant staph oils. You can see the abuse started. People, when you see the magic bullet, you are overusing it. Uh, and that's man himself started creating resistance by overusing without prescription of this penicillin drug, which was not uh, a broad spectrum drug. It does not kill everything, but when you abuse it, you will now create resistance. Let us now look at life expectancy. Now, this is from early century to now in developed worlds. Life expectancy in the 18th century England is between 25 years and 40. It's not that people don't, the individuals from India could reach 70 and 80 plus, but that was the life expectancy during those periods. In France, it was just 27 to 30 years. The mid 19th century, uh, we have 40 to 50 years. You can see that is thirty to the period of antibiotic. The 20th century is more or less the antibiotic period, 50 years to 80 years. The life expectancy improved tremendously. It seriously improved. And life expectancy in the 21st century has also remained uh, almost uh, the same. No, not much uh, uh, increased because antibiotics are not so developed these days. Now these are the various bacteria antinomized cities that uh, I mentioned producing so many types of but uh, antibiotics. Glyphenical, uh, you can see chlorophyll, you can see aminoglycoside. The other bacteria too produce uh, polypeptides and polymycins. Fungi produce uh, the penicillin because that was where they got the penicillin from. It's the same synthetic and more or less as uh, almost using uh, drugs. So the, the, you have the sulfonamide and the quinonones, the ciprofloxacin of these days. And the sulfonamides are also very, very effective uh, in treating broad spectrum. I mean, in treating bacteria, it could penetrate very well. The quinones may not uh, penetrate uh, very adequately. Now let us talk of what man created, antimicrobial re uh, resistance. My return us to the experience of early century. How did we create it? I have just talked about drug abuse. When you start taking antibiotic for just anything, because you've, we found out that antibiotic is so useful, we now take antibiotic even for any uh, problem. In the process, we are creating resistant microbes. And in the microbiology lab, uh, the medical laboratory scientists have even set up uh, uh, the, an initiative to monitor the antimicrobial uh, resistance. And this is what uh, necessitated uh, that uh, initiative. You can see to the left, you find the sensitive, very highly sensitive. Those clear areas show that bacteria were killed with the, the, the right side shows that some 
are becoming resistance. The new idea vaccine as antibiotic, it was with the experience of COVID-19. Over 6 million people have died so far from coronavirus, COVID-19 outbreak as of October 5. And it's confirmed, it was confirmed in over 600 million people. So you can imagine if there were no uh, drugs of treatment and what have you, over 600 million people probably would have died. So the efforts of antibiotic can be clearly seen there. But regardless now, we, we are also saved with this uh, vaccine that are more or less performing uh, the role. We have the Pfizer vaccines, we have the uh, AstraZeneca vaccine, we have the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, the Moderna. So man longevity was saved by the bell. Because if you look at the year of 2019 and the year of production of this vaccine, you will see why I said it will be saved by the bell. Thank you for watching.